Okay, so I've been asked a few times about how I size my uh, badge templates. So I've done a video for Affinity. I'm just going to do a quick one for Canva as well. So it's just a super quick walkthrough of what I do. And um, so I'm on the homepage of Canva um, and I'm just going to search for A4. And I just want to create a blank A4 page. And so then you can just print this as A4 at the end. And if I come over to elements in the left hand menu and I want to insert a, a circle. I'm just going to zoom in so I can see what I'm doing a bit better. And so my circle, I want to have no colour. And I'm just going to give it this outline. OK. And so I can resize it in the corners here, um, or I can come to the three dots and position. And so I'm using the E badges um, badge maker, and I'm using the 58 millimeter die. So for that, I make my circle 70.5 millimeters. So I'm just going to put those measurements in here. There we are. So that is my cutting circle. So if your badge machine came with a cutter, that is the line that you will cut around. And so that is the measurement that you need. Now I'm going to select my um, circle and I'm going to duplicate it. And this time I'm going to resize it to the size of my actual bag. So if I'm doing a 58 millimeter badge, I shall type in 58 millimeters. And then if I select that one, hold down shift and select the other. And I am going to align those to each other. So I want middle and I want center. So you have the cutting circle around the outside. And this is the shape, the actual size of my actual bag on the inside. And I can get rid of that when I um, come to print but it's the circle in which my design needs to fit centrally. So if I just select both these circles, I'm just going to move up in my page a little bit because then I can fit several on my page um, to go and print. So let's put my design in. So if I go to uploads and let's pop these in. Now I'm going to come back to position. I'm going to come along to layers and I'm going to select them both that way. And then if I come back to arrange, I'm just going to middle and center just to make sure that they are aligned nicely together. I can resize this way. I can also I'm just lock in the aspect ratio so that it doesn't um, distort. And as I move it up, you can see those lines that have appeared. So there's a dotted line um, vertically and a dotted line horizontally. So that just shows me that my design is central within my, um, within my circle. And so then to come to print, I can just come here, take that middle border away. So the circle is still there or I can delete it um, and then I shall go and print. So if I wanted to add a background to that, I'm just going to select that inside circle again. So it's still here, although it's not showing. Let's give it a border again so I can see it. So I'm just going to select all of that. Control C, Control V to copy it. And let's move it over here. And now I want to add a background to that as well. So the background, I don't want to just go up to this edge here um, because if it's not quite aligned, I might end up with a bit of a white border. So I want my background to go between these two black lines, ideally, um, or I'll often just do it to the outside line. So if I go back to uploads and I want this one here, to re 
resize it. I can lower the transparency of it so that I can see what is behind. Um, and equally, if I come to position, I can just move it backwards. There we are. So if I move it behind all of those circles, then I will be able to um, see it again. So if I bring the opacity back up to 100, I will be able to see it when I come to print and this circle here I can just delete or I can um, or I can just clear the border um, and then I'm all good to print and this will be the line that I cut around this black circle here. Um, so then you can cut it out and then you can make your badge so I hope that helps.